Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and welcome to this week's Cold D video update. I want to share with you some things that are going to be going on in worship this Sunday and then some uh, upcoming events in the life of the church. I'm really excited about this Sunday. First, we're going to be in the Old Testament. We're going to be in the book of Jeremiah, where we're looking at the image of God as a potter and we are the clay in his hands. It comes from Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 through 11. So I encourage you to take a look at that. We're going to be looking at this story as talking about God's omnipotence. Certainly, we're going to be looking at it as a story of God's judgment, but more importantly, a story of God's grace in our lives. And as we celebrate God's grace in our lives, it's going to be really exciting as we celebrate the sacrament of baptism of Ethan Thomas Rivas, the, the child of Jared and Ramona. And we're really excited to take part in this. So I hope that you will join us. This, the baptism will take part at 11 o'clock, but I hope you can join us for either of the two services. I want to get you thinking about next week, September 11th. September 11th, we're going to have Rally Day where we celebrate the educational ministry of this church, particularly the Sunday school ministry. We will have a breakfast during Sunday school, so I hope all of you will come out. There's going to be some great food. We'll tell you about all the classes and we'll introduce the teachers for this coming year. And now that fall is here, most everybody's in school, whether they really are wanting to be there or not. But for us, it's time to start turning our attention to a couple of things. First, we've got homecoming coming up. On the 18th of this month, we'll be celebrating our 130th year of doing ministry here in this community, but also throughout the world. So I hope that you'll come and join us for that. And then that evening, uh, Sunday evening through Wednesday, we will have our revival. I'm excited to to tell you about a friend of mine who's going to be preaching uh, for us during revival, uh, Reverend Dr. T. Gatewood from Arbordale Presbyterian Church in Banner Elk. I think you'll like T. He's a great pastor and a great person. I think it should be an exciting time. All services are, begin at 7, so I hope you'll come, and I hope that you will invite your friends and neighbors as well. The second event we've got coming up is our Harvest Festival. That's going to be on October 15th, and... It's a, just a great day. We do need your help on several things. One, there's a sign-up sheet in the sunroom for you to sign up to help provide some of the food or to help serve and prepare food. So please take, walk through the sunroom and take a look at that, see how you can help. We need items for the auction. We need some good quality items for the auction. So if you've got some or you know somebody, please be talking that up and in the community. Remember that the quilting, the ladies quilting group will be auctioning off a beautiful quilt. It's a king size quilt, but it looks great on any size bed. Tickets are a dollar. You can get a book of 10 for $10. Uh, pick up your tickets, get some tickets to help sell. We've also got some flyers that we need posted if you want to help with that as well. And the Presbyterian men, of course, will also be offering their um, uh, raffle of, of a gift card. And those tickets are a dollar as well. Look, I have a favor to ask of you. If you see Mark or Michelle Sewell, I want you to go up and either shake their hand, give them a high five, or give them a hug and say thank you. For the last five years, they've been leading the youth ministry of this church, and they have done a fantastic job. But they've been feeling that God's calling them in another direction, so they've stepped away from that. So we need to thank them for their commitment and their service. There's a lot of work, a lot of hours that go into that. We also want to thank Bruce and Megan Hamilton for answering God's call to take over and lead the youth group, building on the things that Mark and Michelle have done. So if you see them, uh, give them thanks as well for the work uh, that they will be doing and the commitment that they are making. So look, I hope that you have a great weekend, and I am really looking forward to seeing you on Sunday.